wine is about enjoying the moment and enjoying that piece of history that they've made. It's a little piece of art uh, and uh, it's something that should be enjoyed and treasured every day. I tend to pick a wine about the, you know, usually around what food I'm having or or the climate I'm in or the, the people I'm around and that usually dictates what I drink. Pans here for gram in a bed of tomato confiture with the dark gruyere and the ginger sauce. Please enjoy. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Cheers. A traditional pairing with the foie gras, Peace mm -hmm. Portagot of Jan Riesling Spätleser, which is uh, slightly sweet. It's uh, a kind of like a late harvest, but not as sweet as a late harvest. Goes very well with the foie gras here. Thank you. Enjoy. We find ourselves in the wine tower in Grand Epernay. And basically what we have here is a structured two-level wine tower that holds about approximately 2,800 labels. It's a big task to take on so many different varietals of wine. We have from literally all over the world, we're trying to capture everybody's taste. We're able to get a good selection, you know, whether you look at Tuscan Crawl, and then of course our wine tower, and then we have Morano, where we actually have our temperature-controlled wine room where we will have all the Latours, all the Petrus, uh, we have the Chateau Margaux, and a few selections of, you know, the really high-end uh, uh, New World wines. The white Bordeaux, the grape variety is Sauvignon Blanc and Semillon. The best food pairings are the pairings that actually resemble the region and the wine from where it's from. Those I are agree. the best, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. So Ludomere, Mediterranean sea bass, white Bordeaux. The Sauvignon Blanc with the Semillon combined with the fish is really good. Excellent balance between the acidity of the wine, the mildness of the fish, and the complexity and the spices from the entire compulsion here in the plate. 